Good morning to you, everyone, everyone, everyone. Good morning to you, everyone. How are you? <laughs> Sing to me, ready? Good morning to you, Miss Chalinski, Miss Chalinski, Miss Chalinski. Good morning to you, Miss Chalinski. How are you? I am wonderful, but I still miss you all so very much. Thank you so much for asking. All right, kindergarten students, what we're going to do today, if you remember in the other video I sent you, we sang our O oh, Road Rattling Bog song. If you haven't yet, you can always go to the other link and sing the O oh, Row song with our trees and our branches and our twigs and our nests and all the other good things. The bird, the bird's my favorite. I like the bird and the tree. So make sure that you go practice the O oh, Row the Rattling Bog song and teach to your family, singing to them. Singing makes you a happier person, or at least I like to think so, and so does Google. So what we're going to do today, we are going to do a couple of different things. I'm going to sing a book to you. It's a book that I sang to you before, so I'm going to sing a book to you once you get comfortable with the m m melody. When you get comfortable with the melody, of course you can sing the book along with me. That's one of the really great things about these videos is that you can go back and you can listen to the songs again and you can sing the books again and you can do the activities again when you're feeling a little bit like you miss music class and you miss school and you miss your friends and you want to just do some fun music activities. What we're going to start with, we are going to start with an instrument. I'm going to see if you can guess, and hopefully your families can help you with figuring out guessing and what instrument it is. But it's an instrument that I played before. This instrument looks like it's made out of the same material as a flute. This instrument can play high sounds and it can play low sounds. And this instrument has a slide that you move in order to change the pitch. Who remembers? What is the name of this instrument? I gave you a hint already, one of the words that's in there. It is a, a slide whistle. So I was able to go into school the other day and I was able to get some of the things that we like to play with and some of the books that we like to read and we like to sing. So I grabbed, of course, how could I not, grab the slide whistle. So we're going to do two things with the slide whistle. I'm going to scooch my screen away from me a little bit so you can watch, oh boy, so you can watch the slide as well. There we go. Now you can see the whole slide. Look at this. So here is my slide whistle. So remember when the slide is all the way up, is that going to make a high sound or a low sound? Yes, it'll make a high sound because the slide is all the way up. When the slide's all the way down, is that going to make a high sound or a low sound? Yeah, this one's going to make a low sound. What we're going to do first, I want you to take your hand. You're going to put it on your head, put it on your shoulders, put it on your knees, touch them on your cheeks, except we shouldn't touch your face. So just kidding, put it back in your head and <laughs> put them on your legs. Your hands should be flat on your legs. You are going to move your hands to the sound that you hear. So when my slide whistle goes, you're going to move your hands to the slide whistles. After we move our hands to the slide whistle, then I'm going to ask you to stand up and you're going to move your whole body to the slide whistle. It's going to be a really good time. Are you ready? We are going to start low. So get your hands on your legs, please. We are starting low. Here we go. This time we're going to go from low to high to low. Now make sure you listen carefully. I can hear you giggling. Nice job. Now what I want you to do 
you are going to, let's see if I can do this here. Let me move this away a little bit more. You are going to crouch down so you are sitting on your toes. Ah, I bit the whole screen. When the sound gets high, you're going to start to stand up. And then when the sound gets low, you're going to sit back down again. I'm not going to do it with you because, you know, the screen's just not, it's not far away enough. So it's not big enough. So I'm going to sit and play the slide whistle for you. Your job is to get crouched down on your toes. Do that now. Crouch down on your toes. Make sure that you have plenty of space so you're not bumping into things like couches. You know, in music class, we don't have to worry about there being a couch in the way when we're moving high and low with the slide whistle. But at home, you might have to worry about a couch or a chair, or a coffee table, or who even knows what else might be in your house getting in the way. So make sure you have plenty of space to do this. Crouch down on your toes. We're starting low again. Here we go. Be careful. Make safe choices. Listen carefully, I'm gonna try to trick you. Nice job. If you feel like you got to move high and low or if you start getting antsy during the day and you just want to move around a little bit or you miss the sound of the slide whistle because I mean slide whistles just can sound so silly, then make sure that you come back on. You click the link to this video and you'll be able to play with the slide whistle whenever you want to. So the book that I'm going to sing to you today, it's one that we sang in music class before that I sang to you. It's called Over in the Meadow and it has beautiful illustrations. Do you remember what the illustrations are in a book? What are the illustrations? The illustrations are the pictures. The illustrations are the pictures. And this book has beautiful illustrations. Look how detailed that turtle is. I know there's a little glare from my computer screen. I'm so sorry. Look how detailed this turtle is just on the cover. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to sing this book to you. Afterwards, it's sad when you're not here in person for me to just, for me to tell you that this is a listening book. There's no one here to sing along with me, and it makes me very sad. So I hope that eventually you get to a point where you can sing along at home. That way the book's not all by itself. <laughs> and I'm not on video. Here we go. Over in the meadow, in the sand, in the sun, lived an old mother turtle and her little turtle one. Dig, said the mother, I dig, said the one. So he dug and was glad in the sand and the sun. Look how beautiful those foxes are. Over in the meadow where the tall grasses grew, lived an old mother fox and her little foxes too. Run, said the mother, we run, said the two. So they ran and were glad where the tall grasses grew. Over in the meadow, in a nest in a tree, lived an old mother robin and her little birdies three. Sing, said the mother, we sing, said the three. So they sang and were glad in that nest in the tree. Over in the meadow, in a tall sycamore, lived an old mother chipmunk and her little chipmunks four. Play, said the mother, we play, said the four. So they played and were glad in that tall sycamore. Over in the meadow in a new little hive lived an old mother honeybee and her little honeybees five. Buzz, said the mother, we buzz, said the five. So they buzzed and were glad in their new little hive. <laughs> Over in the meadow in a dam built of sticks lived an old mother beaver and her little beaver six. 
built, said the mother, we built, said the six. So they built and were glad in the dam built of sticks. Over in the meadow in the green wet bogs lived an old mother froggy and her seven pollywogs. Swim, said the mother, we swim, said the wogs. So they swam and were glad in the green wet bogs. Over in the meadow as the day grew late lived an old mother owl and her little owls ate. Wink, said the mother, we wink, said the eight. So they winked and were glad as the day grew late. Oh, this one's too detailed. <laughs> Over in the meadow in a web on the pine lived an old mother spider and her little spider's nine. Spin, said the mother, we spin, said the nine. So they spun and were glad in their web on the pine. A pine is a, ca a, a kind of what? A tree, a pine tree, yes. Over in the meadow in a warm little den lived an old mother rabbit and her little bunnies ten. Hop, said the mother, we hop, said the ten. So they hopped and were glad in their warm little den. Look at the baby bunnies. This is one of my favorite pages. Look at that, how cute! Oh, I love it. I'm pretty sure the bunnies were the last one. Yep, and then there's the music to Over in the Meadow. Oh, boys and girls, I miss you all so, so very much. I hope that you keep singing, keep sharing music with your families, and I hope that I get to see you soon. I know that the date just seems to be getting farther and farther away, but know that I think about you every single day. And I miss you and all of your voices and your laughs and your stories so, so much. I will send another video soon. Goodbye, everyone. See you later.